Hello everybody, my name is Noemi Banki and we are broadcasting from the library in Penwick in New South Wales, Australia and today we are going to talk about Council Consciousness and well, first of all the information you can find in this book of Metaphysics by Ruben Sedinio and it's online and also on paper. Well, uh, all this activity is part of a um, course, the course of pillars of metaphysics. And today, well, we, uh, we are going to see causal consciousness, previously known as causal body. And we will see. So to first to understand what is causal body, let's talk about our process of learning of our through our let's say lifetime. So we start at um, just one second. We start here at okay. At, huh. We start in the kindergarten, yeah, and then we start primary school, secondary school, university, or tertiary, and sometimes we continue learning, we continue uh, with professional development, and so on, and so on. So why through all these years we spend so much time studying because we cannot learn all of all the knowledge in only one day similarly when we incarnate we just learn a portion and then we Disincarnate, we let the incarnation and then we incarnate again and again and again. And the same way as we study one year, two years, 12 years, and so on. Well, one thing is that. The second thing is. This. Did you wash your feet today? This. Toes. First, second, third, fourth feet. Order. What happens if the first, the first toe is in the fourth place? It doesn't work. Nobody has that. In the same way that someone who has university study level is not going to start kindergarten again because he or she already knows all that. In the same way, we don't repeat something we already learned. We just progress. We go forward and upwards. Always. Alright? Well, all that introduction was to understand what is causal consciousness? So the causal consciousness is composed of seven concentric spheres of consciousness. But how we are going to imagine or think of consciousness? We need a draw. We are going to see a representation. But for now, causal consciousness is composed of seven spheres of consciousness and each one belongs to one of the seven rays and is like a garment to the inner self we are going to see all of that in an image in a moment keeping in order the essence of constructive achievement obtained by a, by a lifetime sorry by a live stream. 
When I say live stream, what do you understand? Live stream is synonym of human being. But instead of saying a human being, I said a live stream. A current of life. Through their experiences during the cycle of human incarnations. Now, if we glue everything we already said, every incarnation, we learn something. We might learn uh, how to be a parent, for example, how to be a police officer, how to be a teacher, how to be a nurse, how to be a secretary, and many things. Well, all, all our knowledge is not disorganized, it's all organized in the same way that, in, for example, in our to, uh, food, we have the five toes. Everything has an order. And it's like a garment to the inner self. Well, let's talk about it. And, well, this is the representation of the I am presence. We have already talked about the I am presence. And we said that we are I am presence or spirit we are inner self or consciousness and we are personality or body. Saint Paul said that we are spirit, soul and body. Spirit, I am present, soul, inner self, personality, body. And it's represented by, in this image, by the spirit, the inner self, and the personality. Okay, but we never talked about the causal consciousness, which is the seven spheres, concentric spheres of consciousness. And its surrounding is the garment of the inner self. Your inner self is surrounded by this causal, um, causal consciousness. Is all of our knowledge is there. You may wonder why Mozart was able to compose with four years, with, when he was four years old. Why? When it takes so much time to learn. At least. Woo! Well, it's what life, a lightning. <laughs> <laughs> take so much time to learn well because he had that knowledge in his causal consciousness and everything you already know but nobody taught, taught you he was in your causal consciousness and you just bring it Who taught you how to kiss someone? You already knew. It was in your course of consciousness. And like that, everything. Everything else. Okay. Now. Let's see if you remember the names. Well, the I am presence, the inner self, and the personality okay i just the, i saw the the lightning and the thunder was so close that i <laughs> whoa <laughs> now continue with activity and this is the causal consciousness right okay if we talk this in planes there are different planes okay so just to give you a flash of this. Other plane is the, the plane where it's nothing, it's empty, it's emptiness. 
okay? E adic, right? Then the monadic play is where the mona is. Mona, I am presence, spirit is the same. So monadic play is, uh, sorry, our mona is in the monadic play. Then the adic play, the buddhic play, and then we start here in the mental superior plane. And in this plane is where our inner self, surrounded by our coastal consciousness, is. They are in this mental superior plane. Then the inferior plane, this is abstract, this is concrete. This is what, when you think, okay, what I'm going to wear today. I'm going to use clothes. I'm going to wear clothes. Oh, with shoes. All the things. Emotional plane, etheric plane, and physical plane, these four are our personality. So we have physical body, uh, appearance in the physical plane. Etheric is, is the double. Etheric plane, physical plane, emotional planes, our emotions. Everyone has emotions. Happy, sad, angry, worried, fear, uh, afraid, and calm, and so on, so on, so on. And the inferior plane, well, is our, um, is where our thoughts are. Okay. So, recap. We are I am presence, inner self, personality. And our inner self is surrounded by the causal body and the causal consciousness, yes. And they are in the mental superior plane. All right. Perfect. But this is not the end. Because there's one more thing here. Woo! What is that? Is that one look at a time, but very, very long time ago, our Mona came. So, not came, sorry. Our Mona, our I am presence, was in this place. Or it is actually this plane, in the monadic plane, but unaware of what or who she or he was. So, well, our monad decided to descend from here. Descent. All the planes. Down, 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 down. Until physical plane. In the physical plane, the, the dense matter is where our monad starts the process of ascension. And this is called involution, and this is called evolution. Where are we? We are here. We are in the process of ascension, evolution, going up and forward. So, our I am presence, our spirit, is incarnated. So we have a personality. And this personality is the instrument that the monad uses to, to develop self-consciousness, self-awareness is when you realize who you are and you resolve all the issues in your life 
And I said issues because in metaphysics we don't say problems because of the negative connotation. So, the I am presence, the inner self, and the personality. All one, one, one person. We are not three people in one. No, this is a psychological problem when the person think, thinks um, that they are more, more than one people. Um, so, we are in this process of evolution. And we recollect all from our constructive experience. Why constructive experience? Are a, here, if I just go backward, all the constructive experience in our causal consciousness is because our personality make, makes mistakes. And when we make a mistake, we try to blame someone else. Oh, I was late because it was traffic. Or I, I don't know, whatever. Always excuses or blaming someone else. I didn't know because nobody told me. Well, they should know. They should double check. Well, the point is that when we make mistakes, all those mistakes, they are not in our causal consciousness. They are just, we delight them with the violet fire. But because today is not the activity of the violet fire, we are going to talk about the violet fire later on in a coming activity. Okay. So, the point is that we recollect, we keep all our good experience, constructive experience, positive experience in one of these spheres. Okay. And this is how we evolve. All right. So, the same image again. Because all the like I said, all our constructive uh, virtues are here. And the first one is a little bit fade, but it's blue. And it's will, good will. All our good will is in that here, the blue one, or the first one. All our wisdom all our intelligence, all our common sense is in, our, in the second sphere, which is gold. It's not yellow. Yellow is just in matter, but we, in life it's gold. The third sphere is where we keep all our love. If you are a lovely, lovely person, caring person, active person, because remember that love is related to action. Is in your pink or third sphere. The beauty is someone is beautiful is because the, they have this sphere all full, 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 full. And they are beautiful. So see? It's not about how many creams you use or how many makeup you have in your face. <laughs> it's about your uh, causal consciousness. Okay, and you are learning this today. Alright, what else? In the fifth sphere of consciousness is your health. All these statues of health or illness is there. No, I mean, sorry, 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 sorry. There is no illness in here. Is that you can manifest health because health is within you. And you just, we are going to learn today how to precipitate those things. Will, wisdom, love, beauty, health, 
Prosperity. Do you need money? Okay. You know that it's not related to your job or to the government role. It's related to your inner self. But there is a but here. And let's finish the last one. Forgiveness is also there in the seventh sphere, the violence. All these things are there. But some people are in kindergarten. And all these are very, very pale, very little color. And some people, some People might be in university. So most of their colors in their culture, in their causal consciousness, are bright, very, very bright. Well, that means that they have more incarnations. They learn more. That's all. Now, are you going to blame a key or let's say four years old in kindergarten because they don't know uh, they don't know how to read well no we are not going to blame them because they are in the process of learning so we cannot blame someone because they don't know what we can do is teach them don't wink anymore just precipitate from your consciousness, from your causal consciousness. And this is how, uh, how we connect with this, because this is within you. This is surrounding your inner self. But at the moment, you are identified with your personality, your appearance, your emotions, your thoughts, And someone who is in pain, and I say, okay, say, I'm healthy. And they say, yeah, I can say I'm healthy, but I have pain, or I am in pain. It's because they are identifying, they, they identify themselves with that personality. But if we use the causation quadrant, which is our mind, our feelings, our words, and our actions, we can precipitate from our causal consciousness what we need, what we want. Just as you are listening, like this. With your hands like this, remember thoughts, feelings, words, and actions. The action is placing your hands like this. And what do you want? Do you want to be intelligent? Okay. Well, let's say I am precipitating from my causal consciousness intelligence. Thank you, Father. Always we are great. Thank you, Father. Is our act of faith. Means you already know that you are intelligent. You need money. Don't think of money. Money is just a way. What do you need? A pair of shoes. Do you need food for your kids? Do you need pay? Do you need, do you need I don't know. Um, whatever whatever you need to do think of what you need to do and precipitate I am precipitated from my thoughts of consciousness a pair of pink shoes and then ta -da! <laughs> you have your pink shoes for example okay I would say start with small things to cultivate your faith and whatever you are you want to precipitate 
has to be in harmony with everybody. You, want, you don't want to say, oh, I'm precipitating from my fossil consciousness again to kill someone. No, we cannot, we cannot do that. But what you can do is do it something, of course, something good, but don't tell anybody what you want. Oh, do you want to meet, some, meet someone? Do you want a partner? Okay, you can present it from a kosher content. Everything is there, everything. You just need to precipitate. The cause of consciousness is metaphorically like having treasures in heaven, where nothing and nobody can steal, corrupt, or harm them. You want, you have in your bank account a lot of money. Well, this is. Mm. Safer than any any security code, safer than anything in the world. Why? I'm telling you why. Someone, and this is a student of metaphysics, had a house. But for some reason, this student had to <clears throat> leave the house because she had to travel. Okay, this person had a job, but he had, she had, sorry, to stop working because she lived a city. Okay. She had a family, but she had to leave her family because she was going to travel. Long story short, she gave up all of these things. Friends, family, job, house, car, and many things. What happened when she moved to another place, she gone. Someone, like a partner, so family, she got a job and she got a house and a car. Means, if it's in your cause of, if what you have is in your cause of consciousness, whatever happened, you will get it again. Ruben Cedeño, he had a beautiful um, watch, beautiful. And some, uh, a friend of him, every time said, oh Ruben, I love your watch. Oh Ruben, I love your watch. So nice, so nice. And he was uh, in, in, the, in that city because he went to, um, to teach metaphysics. So, when he had to leave the city to travel to another city to continue teaching, he said, look, you like my watch. I do. He, he said, okay, take it. It's yours. Well, the person was so happy. So, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. What Ruben said, thought was, okay, by my cause of consciousness, I will find someone. I will find another one. In the free shop, in the uh, airport. Well, he went there, look here, look there, research everywhere, and he couldn't find any watch. I mean, the one he wanted, one particular one, with a particular, of a particular brand. Well, what happened? That he arrived to the next city to continue doing activities, metaphysics activities. We don't say classes in metaphysics because class, class mm, means that 
the person is just listening, not interacting or participating. So we say activity. So when he thought, okay, what I'm going to do? I don't know. Well, the person who welcomed him was with a gift for him. And he had in the box the same watch that he already gave to his friend. So for that reason I'm saying to you, don't think, if you need something, don't think of money. Think of that what you want and you will get it. Because it's in your causal consciousness. Right of consciousness, this is what you then work with. When you need something or it was lost or apparently stolen, well, it was not his case, he just gave it. It is impossible not to have it again. And this is for you. You have a beautiful ring and was stolen. Or whatever happened, whatever happened. As the principle of correspondence, as it's above, it's below, you have it in your causal consciousness and it belongs to you by your right of consciousness. You just need to decree. Use the quadrant of causation. Mind, feelings, words and actions. And this is the story of... Do you know? Have you been this to... Have you seen this musical? This, Beautiful. I saw it here in Sydney. The uh, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Okay. So, and this is about the story of Joseph, but not the Joseph, uh, Jesus' father. Another Joseph. And this is the story. So, Joseph was Jacob's son. And he was favored by his father. You know that fathers usually have a favorite son or daughter. Who gave him a special color code. So he had this color code which represents our causal consciousness. So when you, and then what happened? Uh, his brothers sold him to a trader who brought him to Egypt where Joseph was sold to Potiphar. So what happened is when you are wearing, when Joseph was wearing, let's talk about the story, Joseph was wearing this multicolored coat, means that he was showing a lot of virtues. And it might be your case. So people around you might envy you. Because you are smart, because you have this, because you have that. Because they don't know that they have their own cause of consciousness. By the way, nobody envies someone who is a loser. So if people envy you, well, you're doing something good. At least. So don't be bothered about it. So, but what happened with, with the lack of, with, with the lack doesn't exist, but let's say what happened with the life, Joseph life. Now he's a slave in Egypt, in another country. Don't worry, this is not the end of the story. Remember that this is about his code. Okay, so forty past life, like it. Oh my God, what happened? He was slave and Potiphar, he treated very well actually, but when his wife wanted to you now be closer and closer to him, you know, but Joseph refused. He, I don't know if he was gay or he just he didn't want to have any contact with a married woman, we don't know. But so what happened then? Imagine, you know women. And if they don't want them what they want, what happened? War. So Potiphar's wife turned the tables on Joseph and telling her husband that it was Joseph who had tried to enslave her. So she lied. 
The angry master reacted by placing him in prison. So he sent Joseph to prison. Joseph's charisma followed him to prison. Remember, this coat is with you. It's not a it's not it's not a clothes that you can we can worn out. No. So when the king's royal cabinet and baker were imprisoned, Joseph successfully interpreted their dreams. So he he had this skill of interpreters. Two years later, King Pharaoh himself envisioned two dreams, which none of his advisors were able to explain. Joseph then interpreted Pharaoh Pharaoh's uh, dreams as being as a divine prediction for seven years of plenty, followed by seven years of famine, and advised Pharaoh to prepare by storing grain during the first seven years. Impressed by Joseph's wisdom, Pharaoh appointed him as his viceroy, second only to the king himself, and tasked him with ruling the nation for the years of money. See? Again, I told the story of that student, I told the Roman student, and I'm telling you this in the Bible, Joseph recovered not only his family, because then he reunited with his brothers and father, but he also improved. He was dealing a country. So never, never again judge something good or bad because you never know. But you can use your consciousness, your right of consciousness to get what you already have or what you need. By saying, my world has everything I need. Don't start, you know, winking again about everything is expensive, all oh, the inflation in this country, all oh, is uh, unaffordable uh, buying a house, all these things, it's waste of energy. Don't say that. I mean, say it if you want, but you will never, if you don't buy a house, you didn't have a house, you know why. Not because of the prices, it's because you're quadrant of causation, your toxic quadrant of to your toxic quadrant of causation. Instead, use your celestial quadrant of causation, which is always something positive, something constructive. By saying, my world has everything I need, and never wink again. Envy, you don't have to envy anybody. Like this king. You don't have to see, oh, look the house of my neighbor, oh, look the car of Smith or whatever. Just remember your own consciousness, council consciousness. My world has everything I need. Again, my world has everything I need. Again. My world has everything I need. Thank you, Father. And let's talk about the inner self's physical master item. Is in the apex of the heart's left ventricle and leads all biological functions. This is the, your heart. Imagine a heart, human heart. Four chambers, left ventricle to atriums. Okay, right or left. The left ventricle in the apex means here there is the inner self's physical master atom. That little atom, imagine that it's tiny, 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 tiny atom. But that tiny, tiny master atom is very important, very. 
Why? Let me tell you. Because he is like him. Do you know him? He is Gustavo Dudabel. He's a Venezuelan conductor. And currently he is one moment. I just I had my cheat here. Uh, Gustavo Dudamel, he's the current music director of the Simon Bolivar Symphony Orchestra. And in 2026, in three years, he will be music director of the New York Philharmonic. And what is his job? Well, his job is to conduct, direct. A lot of people playing different instruments. Like what? Well, like violins, oboe, violas, cellos, double bass, Horns, piccolo, bassoon, timpan, gong, synth, what else? Trombones, anything. You see a lot of instruments like the piano, trumpet, harps, a lot of instruments. A lot. Well, in the same way, your physical master, Aiton, is in charge of all your atoms in your physical sheet. Mm -hmm. The same. So if you talk with the head, the head of the items, you can control all your biological functions. Do you want to lose weight? Talk with your item. Do you want to see better? Talk with your item. Do you want, there is a headache. You have headache. Okay. You can talk with your atom so you get rid of diarrhea, nausea, whatever happened to you. You can erect, and this is, a, I just show you a little bit of anatomy as well, because we talk about all the instruments in a symphony orchestra, but we, don't, we didn't talk about any um, organs. So for example, we have a skeletal system, and use a lot of muscles. By the way, more than five, 600. And it's a little more than 400 uh, bones. Nerves, well, countless. Digestive system, respiratory system, your lungs, your trachea, and everything. And circulatory system, all your veins and everything. So all, all, all your cells and systems are uh, directed by this agent. So you can say, beloved master Atom, take control of this part of my physical sheet. Headache, nausea, diarrhea, whatever happened to you. You have a conf you have a conference, you have a trip. Okay. Talk, decree that what you want. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Our next activity will be uh, Monday the 11th, 11th of September. So next week, the following week. At 6 p.m. here in Penrith Library Theatre. Thank you very much. Bye for now.